for a big microcontroller. So in this tutorial I will talk about logical instructions which is basically the AND instruction the OR or the inclusive OR which they are the same the XOR and the complement. Uh, if you see the truth table uh, for the AND uh, like it's always false the only uh, option when they are when the output is true when both inputs are true or one for OR it's always true if one, one of them is uh, true or one the only choice when it's false when the two uh, choices are false or and inclusive or they are typically the same the XOR uh, if you see that it only true when one of them is uh, true if the other like the other option if both are zeros or both are ones the output will be false complement is actually the uh, opposite uh, uh, result let's call it so if the input is zero the output will be one uh, and if the input is one the output be zero it's like not uh, instruction or not, not operation as for big microcontrollers and instruction lists we have uh, seven uh, instructions for logical uh, to describe the logical operations or logical instructions two for the and and two for the inclusive or two for exclusive or and one for the complement as you can see that always we have an instruction where it allows the literal with the W to operate together and the other one is uh, allows uh, uh, W with the file or register to work together so for the AND there is AND LW and for the inclusive OR we have inclusive OR LW exclusive OR we have exclusive OR LW same thing applies for WF and WF inclusive or WF and exclusive or WF so for AND LW we, there is one parameter or operand called K which is a literal so basically we are adding the literal with a W K and W and the output will be in W for AND WF we have two operands F and D so D can be 0 or 1 so if D is 0, which means that it will be the, the, the output will be or the result will be in, in W and uh, the, uh, the equation or the ending is between W and F. If D equals 1, D equals 1, uh, it means that the destination or the result will be in the file and it will end W with F inclusive or the same thing there is a literal so basically we are oring a literal with w and the result will be in w inclusive or wf uh, if d is equal zero that means the destination or the result will be in w and we are oring w with f if d equal d equals one we uh, uh, the the result of the oring w with f will be stored or distant to F exclusive or is the same uh, conf F comma D it has two options so if, if D equals 0 the the complement of F will be stored in W if D equal 1 the complement of F or register will be stored in uh, in F so let's try to use this this instruction the seven instructions so i need i will go to the mb lab again let me just go to the mb lab and let's create a new project stand on a project next so we select the this the mid range and now we go to the b16f 84A 
84a 16f84a next and simulator next mb asm the compiler next so let's call it logical project all right okay now we have the project is ready click the source files and add the new assembly file for the sm let's call it logical or logic finish okay so now we need uh, as usual we need to include p16 f84a dot inc and we have the org 00 and in uh, okay so in order to use the uh, logical uh, instructions we need to define uh, variables so basically we will use c block at uh, no c block at 0x 20 hexa the address and nc all right so we can define any constant let's call it x and y so basically we, right now x and y will be reserved in the data memory each one of them will have 8 bit without any initial value okay so now in order to uh, to use x and y we need to initialize them so we use move lw and since we are working with with the logical instructions i do prefer to use the binary representation for the literal so i can say one zero one zero one zero one one okay so this is eight bit uh, literal value has been moved to w then i need to move it wf into x and the second one is move lw binary 0 let's call it 111 1 0 okay looks good move this is wrong okay now move wf into y okay now we have we initialized x and y so we can start use uh, the uh, uh, the instructions so the first one is if you remember that it's add and lw so we are ending uh, l with w and binary let's clear w first let's clear w let's clear w uh, no, let's just keep W the same thing. So basically right now W will, will be 1111. Okay, so and 0, 0, 0, 0. So let's keep W the same way. So let's add LW with 1100011. Okay. Now we need to and wf a x and save it on x sorry save it on f so this one will say that it's w equal l which is a, a this value with a w or let's call it yeah, l with w l and w let's put it this way and we 
are ending with L or W. Uh, this one, the other section, the end, it will be since we, the second operand is F, it means that X x equal uh, w and x so x is stored in uh, is the destination now let's use the uh, or so inclusive or lw uh, so inclusive or lw let's let's do it let's do it this way binary Zero 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 one 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 one. All right, and this inclusive or WF. Now let's try to use Y and store it in W. So that instruction means it's uh, W equal. W equal L or W while the other one instruction means uh, W equal W or Y okay now we have the AND and the OR let's use the XOR same thing for LW which means with binary literal uh, 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 okay so this is the one that means uh, w equal l x or w now Let's XOR the other instruction, XOR WF, and let me just move this down. All right, binary uh, XOR WF. No, it shouldn't be like this. XOR, so we need to make it X, let's make it X x with w which means w equal x or x x or w now the last thing is to use a com com f f which is y let's do it with y and let's make it f it means means y equal not okay so this is the one in order to be able to display the last instruction we need to have just any instruction at the end because if we don't have any instruction it will after after execute that com f it will go to the end and it will jump immediately to the starting so it's better to put knob so that we can view the result of comif so this is the instruction let's just debug it okay warning successful there's nothing there's no problem okay now let's run it and and we can see now we need to Pause it as usual. Usually I do it this way and reset, so that we start from the beginning. Okay. Now, in order to see what will happen with the the variables x and y, we need to go to the uh, fire registers. Fire registers. Let me just bring it up a little bit and select format we need to make it symbols and since the the c block is at 20 we need to go to the 20 here we are so this is the x 
the value of x and this is the value of y okay so let's see what will happen let's make it in hex I don't know if it's gonna be in hex 20 let's see where this is 20 this is 20 so these are two things x and y so if we click F7 now x will change see now it is uh, with the time of I guess a b and y will be now f7 now y will change to f0 okay let me just put it in there. so I so a b and f0 now we need to add the w register so we go to the variables and here we have a w register so if we end it with the this uh, literal value it will change so if you see that the w register f0 which is f0 which is typically that one the final last value has been applied to w register so if we click f7 it has changed to c0 because we end the F0 of the W register with this value. Now let's end the WF, uh, this one, X, and the result will be on X. So if we go to the X register, Y register, so click, you see that has, this has been changed. The X has been to come 80, and here we need executing and uh, running the inclusive or with L with W you need to go to double register and see what's going on what will happen so now is CF and the other one here we are uh, inclusive or WF with Y comma W which means that the destination is W so if we click again it's, it's now the W register is FF now let's do an exclusive or with a W F7 so it's F5 and exclusive or uh, X uh, comma W which means the W is a destination now it's 25 now let's come com F the Y and destination Y so we need to go to fire register and see the second the value which is of, of y is f0 right now if we come make a com f it will be 0f as you can see now it's 0f so this is done so if we click f7 we will go back to to the starting so this is for today as you can see that the logical instructions are so simple they are almost uh, identical for xor or the or and and uh, basically each one of them has two instructions except for the uh, complement uh, instruction which has only one instruction uh, that's it for today and thank you